Guess what, y'all? <clears throat> I finished my water yesterday, so feeling good. So I got me another thing of water today. Okay, so excited. I need to get a little cold. I'll put some ice in it. Y'all about to put it in the refrigerator for a little while. I'm also about to start breakfast. Uh, I'm probably gonna make like some omelets because I don't have no breakfast meat. Forgot to grab some. So I'll be making breakfast omelets this morning um, so they can get their protein. And I'm gonna put some spinach in there. And um, yeah, we're gonna be good to go. Um, and then I'm gonna start cleaning this house, okay? Because I need to do it and I have my energy. Um, we already got ready for the morning. Well, me and my son did. I gotta um I go sit down, honey. In a minute, I'll tell you in a minute. Um, but I already got me and my son ready, and then my um two-year-old, my one-year-old just got up, so I gotta brush their teeth, get them ready, and then we'll be good to, they'll be good to go. My three-year-old is still sleeping, so um yeah, so about to get started with that and um yeah. My kids broke my stand, so that's why you can't get the best view right now. I won't have them for a while. So. Yeah. 
about to wash all these dishes, y'all. I've been putting off on these dishes for I don't know how long. Oh, and um, if you've been watching my videos, I found out that it's good to like soak your your stuff in like super hot water at least 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And um, I decided to do that, make it hot, and add some heat. Or you can like soak it for like a minute and um, bleach your water. So I decided to do both and incorporate the hot temperature as well as bleach and water. Just to make sure it's super clean. But uh, I usually wash it in warm water and a uh, whole bunch of disinfectant. But when I found that out, that it killed foodborne illnesses and stuff. I started doing it. I used to wonder why people used to put a bleach in their water. I was like, hmm. I was not sure. But I know now. And when I found out, which most people probably already know, when I found out, I said, I'm going to share it because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who didn't know that. There's a lot of spoiled people out there. Only childs like me. You have to do chores and all that. I ain't never had to do a chore. Ever. Like, this, when I got married and all that, that's when I started doing chores. I used to, like, at my dorm, though, like, when I used to live on campus, I used to, um, I used to, like, my, sweep them out the floor. And that was about it. You know, make my bed. Keep my desk clean. Stuff like that, but not, like, chores. Washing dishes. I never had to wash dishes. Um, Cause we used to eat the cafeteria, and then if we didn't eat the cafeteria, we had this like little cafe on campus. We eat there, and, you know, throw up, throw away our dishes there. And that's how it always went. Uh, I would never really eat in the room unless it was like a snack. I mean, you just throw that away, or like something you buy from takeout or something. So you just um, throw that away. This is not for me. And they pile up too. Quickly. And then when you have dishes and then uh, you see them, you don't feel like doing them, so you use another dish or another pot <laughs> and they accumulate. And that's how they pile up. And that's a no no, so don't do that, y'all. Try to tell you. Ain't nothing like waking up to a pile of dishes, like. Right? It's like the worst ever. But yeah, I know one thing. I ain't going back to using no rag. Sponge life. Full life. Okay. So much easier. You don't have to work as hard. I only use the um rag, you know, what I need to. But you know, certain things you can't use sponge. Well, you gotta get a little thorough with certain things. Y'all, this water hot. <laughs> I don't like that part. Oh well. I need burn for a little while. This water on you. Yeah, I had me some measuring. I need to give me some scoops, y'all. I always had those like organizers or whatever. Well, the containers that I use for organization, but I don't have no scoops like the scoop stuff out. I definitely have to get some scoops, y'all. Y'all know what some good quality scoop set that's kind of small and neutral colored? Comment down below, y'all. Let me know. Y'all, 
how about this? <laughs> I was supposed to cook dinner, but all my pots was dirty. So homegirl, need to, I had to wash some dishes just to make dinner. I'm gonna be cooking some. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Actually, this is my first time working with um. Well, not well. Yeah, my first time working with chicken thighs. So I'll be making something with chicken thighs tonight, y'all. Y'all, the other side of my sink full already. That's crazy. Let me clean out this pot. I'm gonna go ahead and get these. Chicken thighs together. I think this will be the best pan to get the result that I want. I was going to make chicken tacos, but I don't have no shells. But I do got some chips, so I might just make chicken nachos. Mm -hmm. I was going to make barbecue chicken. Ah, ah. I was going to make barbecue chicken, but feel like a barbecue. Just don't. I'm gonna fill up this dish and sink right quick. And, um, and I'll show y'all my progress. Y'all oh, got these sausages. I got these two. I'm going to soak those, then I'm going to work on this side, then I'm going to work on this side. And I'll be done, y'all. But all these, I'm going to rinse these and lay them on my dry mat on the table. So, oh, y'all, I'm tired already, but I'm going to get it done. Okay, I already got my pot clean right here. About to get it going. I can do these little chicken thighs. I think I'm gonna saute some pepper and onions to put with it. So, yeah. Cooking up my chicken thighs. That's what I use. Okay. I think I'm just gonna make spinach and um, <clears throat> mushroom, creamy mushroom. We'll go over top of this and some rice and green beans. <laughs> 